Hello and welcome to the introductory video for Google Summer of Code 2021 with BeagleBoard. This project is called GP, GPU with GLES, uh, and it is tracked on the link below. What is GP, GPU and why should we use it? So general purpose computing on graphic processing units uh, is a special type of computing where we make use of our uh, GPU, um, which is embedded, uh, which is either um, in our PC or in an embedded device. Uh, and we use it to compute different uh, things. Uh, in the past, GPUs were only used for graphics rendering and for uh, uh, graphics related things. Uh, and since uh, some time ago, people realized that we can use them um, as a generic core for computations, um, GP, GPU became a very popular topic. GPUs are constructed to process a lot of data in parallel, uh, and our computations have to be crafted in a way that uh, utilizes this fact and makes most of it. Um, so our computations should be representable in SIMD, single instructional, multiple data formats. Um, so applications that suit it most are, for example, image video processing, machine learning, deep learning, and uh, other computations such as matrix multiplications and other calculations. This project uh, will utilize BeagleBone Black. Uh, it's a single board computer, very powerful one. And it boasts uh, Cortex-A8, which is an application ARM processor compared to regular Cortex-Ms, which are usually found in uh, less expensive microcontrollers. On board the BBB, uh, we have Power VR SGX530, which is an, an IP from Imagination Technology, which is capable of utilizing OpenGL ES 2.0. Goals of this project are as follows. The most prominent of them is to uh, design an API, which will allow for GPU acceleration on beagle bones. Most popular computations, as I've already mentioned, are, for example, array addition, filtering, fear, IAR, matrix multiplications, or some broadcast math operations, where we take a, a chunk of uh, data and we apply simultaneously one operation to each element of this chunk of data. Um, also, this project aims to uh, provide some um, documentation and comparisons of the uh, different computations done on CPU and accelerated on GPU. So it will also serve as a kind of uh, guideline when to use on, especially on our embedded devices, BeagleBones, when when can we, when should we use a GPU to accelerate some computations and when should we refrain from it and stick to CPU? I also plan to write up at least some blog post which will dig deeper into the subject. API aims to be non-blocking for the rest of the system. So ideally, we should have an application which will offload some of the computations to the GPU and continue with 
operating on the CPU or different uh, peripherals, different parts of our board. The benefits that the community, especially BeagleBoard community, will have from this project are, first of all, the ability to heterogeneously compute uh, on the BeagleBoards, BeagleBones, uh, using the GPU as a parallelizing part of our system, benchmarks and examples which will serve as a guideline on when to compute using GPU and CPU, uh, and also uh, crafted vertex uh, and or fragment shaders. We'll see which we'll be using in this project, which may be reused in different applications for accelerating on different platforms. First of all, I will be writing the skeleton code, the API skeleton code and the GL calls, which will uh, establish the core functionality uh, of the project. And then I will write each part of the acceleration for the array addition, for the filtering, uh, multiplications in a separate shader, uh, which will be tested on in the Power VR emulator on uh, the host on my PC. Uh, then this code will be moved to BeagleBone and will be tested still utilizing the Power VR SDK. And then finally, it will be moved to raw OpenGL ES calls on the BeagleBone. And this will be done for each of the accelerations. The timeline is visible below. The, in the first week, uh, I will set up the environment and record this video. Then I will write some skeleton GL ES code to test it on BeagleBone Black and write the first blog post. Uh, then I have API to be set up, write some more functionality, write some benchmarks, evaluation. I will be writing the documentation um, asynchronously doing, uh, while doing other things. Uh, also, I included some debugging, which will be done quite often. I also have a uh, summer camp, which will take two weeks off of the schedule. So I will be doing less brain intensive task, tasks during this time. Uh, I also have to prepare final video and write a summary. Uh, I also have some stretch goals for this project, such as writing a uh, API bindings in Rust, utilizing different cores in the GPUs um, for the acceleration and extending the accelerated uh, portfolio. And after the project, I will also do the evaluation and I will end the uh, Google Summer of Code 2021. I hope this video was informative and follow my updates on the blog. Thank you very much.